I'm Turbo here for Empire TV at the International 2015. I'm here with Capitalist. How are you today, man? I'm doing great. Uh, it's been a fantastic event so far. I'm all done commentating, but uh, I really enjoyed the bits that I did, and I'm looking forward to the end of the tournament. Speaking of the end of the tournament, who do you think is going to win it all? we got three Chinese teams remaining, one American. So I actually have EG going to the Grand Finals, and I think they're going to meet um, either C-Deck or Vici Gaming. I feel, feel like the aggressive style of both Vici and C-Deck will pair better against LGD than perhaps some other teams. Um, but we'll have to see. I think this matchup, um, the next matchup between LGD and Vici Gaming will tell us a lot. If LGD win that matchup, especially if it's a 2-0 two, two, two against uh, Vici Gaming, then they probably go through and win the whole entire tournament. I feel like LGD is a team that's going to learn a lot in these last few matches and will learn a lot from their loss against C-Deck. Okay, and um, just to talk about uh, Vici Gaming, LGD, they both have a champion remaining, both from Newbie. One is going to eliminate the other. Uh, which do you think has an advantage? I mean, of course, you've got Xiao Wei, the captain, but, and then you've got Hao with Vici Gaming. So, um, from what I have heard, I, I feel like Zhao8 is probably um, more of a benefactor to um, LGD than how is to Vici Gaming. Um, from what I've heard anyway, um, we've, we've obviously seen a little bit of synergy issues with Vici Gaming. Um, they seem to have kind of come together here um, as the tournament progresses, but um, I think that Vici Gaming as a whole Team style, like I, I feel like their aggressive play style and their dynamicism is going to be really good versus LGD. Um, that being said, nothing can really beat Xiao Eight as a captain. I feel like just individually, if you compare player to player, I feel like Xiao Eight is still much better. All right, and how has it been casting the event here? Um, like, what has that experience been like just being here in Key Arena and casting something? Um, it's been amazing. So, um, casting at the main event. The, the first time I casted a major event was ESL1 Frankfurt, um, and that was a big stadium, and I was incredibly nervous for that. Um, I wasn't as nervous casting um, here on the main stage. It still was a little bit of nerves that got to me. Um, it got to me a little bit on the very first match, my wild card for, you know, for the international, and then when I got onto the, the main stage for the very first one, there was a little bit of nerves, but um, honestly, it was more of just... Uh, feeling of validation, I guess, that the road that I took, you know, over two years ago, essentially was, you know, one that essentially paid off, right? I was able to cast main event TI. That's the, the dream for every commentator. And, um, you know, and now this just kind of drives me. I want to come back next year. I want to be casting the main event. I, I want to be casting as many major tournaments as I can. The majors are going to be coming up. I want to be able to get into that. Um, you know, this is just kind of giving me a taste of casting main event TI, and I want to be back here every single year, and I want to be able to cast as many games as possible. And speaking of majors, um, is there any idea about how Valve will go about acquiring talent for that, or is it kind of quiet right now as Valve usually is? No, it's, um, I mean, they're very much focused on TI. They've been focused on TI for like the last like five months. I, from what I've heard, like Valve employees, like anybody anywhere near Dota has focused solely on TI for like the last five months. Um, so they are not really thinking about majors too much, I think. Um, we'll see after TI, give it a few weeks, um, maybe there's going to be something that comes out, but um, we haven't heard anything yet. The next few weeks there's going to be the transfer deadline for uh, teams apparently to September 1st. Uh, what do you think these next few weeks are going to look like for the teams? Um, you know, I actually talked about this before. I, I think that there's a good chance that teams that plays very well at TI maybe just ignore the first uh, deadline and essentially just kind of like leave open the first season to other people um, and maybe just take like a good three month break. You don't want to burn out, right? Like TI is still the most important thing, even with the majors. So I think there are still some pro players that are going to take a break. Um, and there's certainly going to be some teams such as like I would bet Team Secret yeah, and Cloud9 um, there that after this and given their results are going to immediately try and fix things and make new teams and um, maybe have the drive to try and win that first majors you know right out the gate so you think that the majors will be more for like teams that perhaps haven't placed well at TI and 
even teams that didn't make it to TI to kind of prove that they're worthy while other teams kind of take a break? Yeah, I mean, the way I put it, uh, I talked about this on Twitter, the way I put it there was just like, you know, honestly, what's what's bringing home, you know, a couple tens of thousand dollars when you've taken home, like, literally millions, right? So, um, yeah, I feel like that this first majors is going to be a big opportunity for many of the teams that didn't make it into TI, um, many of the teams that are still working at it, that are still, you know, scrimming, still working at it. They have a great opportunity to be kind of a front runner in this new major system, as well as the teams that are immediately going to disband after TI and reform anew. Um, that'll be th their kind of first step and first real test as to the success of their team and whether or not they can actually be, um, you know, a, a, an actual team. I mean, there's going to be a lot of personalities that, at least just from what I've heard, a lot of players mixing and matching that um, we haven't really seen before. So there's going to be a lot of untested ground. Major, the first majors is going to be a, a good pressure test for that. Okay, and um, just getting back to the main event here so far, uh, who's been your favorite person to work with so far, or even just to hang out with when there's downtime? Um, so Blitz, of course, is um, easily one of my best friends in the world right now, and it's why um, our casting duo, I think, has so much synergy. So I really enjoyed hanging out with him, all of TI, but there's a lot of people here that I don't get to see um, that are probably more important. I get to see Blitz kind of all the time now that he works with us. So um, other people like Peering Flax has been a blast to hang out with. Um, it's always good to see Nahaz. You know, I only get to see him at major events. He's been um, a lot of fun to hang out with. And then there's all the BTS guys. Like, we're never at the same event together. So it's nice to be able to hang out with Coddle Guy, LD, Ziori, um, you know, guys like that that I only see at TIs and the, the, um, the TI hub. You know, the only times that I see them. So that's all been really enjoyable. I think that's, that's probably the, the favorite part of TI. Like, yes, for the talent, the tournament is everything, but at the same time, when the t tournament isn't going on, it's a big social social fest for us, right? We get to you know catch up with people that we haven't seen all year long. So it seems like the whole Dota 2 TI talent pool is kind of like a big family. Yeah, it really is. It's like a big family reunion, essentially. All right. Well, I'll let you get back to your family for now. Thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us. Uh, do you have any thanks or shout-outs before we end? Uh, just a thank you to everyone who's been supporting me. It's um, been a pretty long road getting from uh, starting off co-casting with Toby or even going far enough back where I was uh, casting with Absolute Legends or anything or, or Heroes of New Earth in general. Um, you know, it's been a really long road. Um, getting here at the main event was um, definitely one of the biggest goals that I've achieved so far. So big thank you to everyone who supported me and of course everyone from Join Dota who's backed me up as well. Toby, Blitz, uh, you know, Jan, my project manager, all those guys, uh, they've been a huge factor in me getting here. All right, and do you have any call outs? <laughs> uh, no, I don't really have any call outs except for maybe Blitz for being probably the most demotivating piece of shit co-caster I could ever get. <laughs> He actually always flames me, like, nonstop. So I'm, I'm calling him out. If you guys ever see me flame him, it's purely out of self-defense. He always comes at me, so sometimes I have to hit him first. At least he has a lot of Storm games to cast. Yes, yes right. he certainly does. All right, thank you very much for speaking with us. I'm Turbo for Team Empire.